Hello and welcome to the whiskey.com news on the 3rd of June 2020. And yes, we have a number of very interesting news this week. We start off with the Aaron Kildonan and Plata Island Explorer Series number three. Um, the Kildonan is a small town one kilometer from the south coast of Aran and the Plata Island, yeah, it's an island near Aran. And this commemorates the, yeah, the beauty of the landscape with a really good bottling. It's 21 years of age, matured in sherry buds, uh, punchins and ruby port pipes. 50.4% ABV, but limited to 9,000 bottles. It should be available on the international markets within the next week. Um, then we have a number uh, of very interesting bottles hitting the market. It's the bottling from Artbeck. Yeah, the yearly bottling and it's called the Black. Yeah, we have a video on this channel already up or I'm not quite sure if it's up on the English channel already, but uh, it's a very interesting whiskey. Have a look at this video. Unfortunately, it's very, very limited and we already sold out. So mm, your chances of getting one bottle is very, very slim. Yeah, Lafroig um, is also announcing another bottling. It's the Cardas, their friendship bottling. Port and Wine Cask 2020. This year's bottling is without an age statement. It was most matured in ex bourbon casks, ruby port barrique casks, and red wine cask. 52% ABV and no chill filtration. Yeah, we will probably have it on the cask, but who knows what the distributors are, are thinking about and if we will get enough of them so we can do a video. Then we have very bad news uh, a very rare exclusive whiskey collection was stolen. The police of Sussex, that's in England, um, informed that a private collection of over a thousand bottles uh, was stolen. Amongst them, a Beaumont 1973. Um, the collector has uh, built up the collection over the last 10 years. So that is a really sad moment for this guy and we really feel for them. Hopefully they will find a collection and he will get back his whiskey. Yeah, then we have news from the United States. Yeah, there is other news from the United States as well. And um, that's from Bardstown. The small town of Bardstown has a lot of bourbon production. And now the Bardstown bourbon is investing in a new bottling line. They already bottle whiskey, but they use other companies uh, for bottling them and now they are building a bottling line. So um, yeah, the location is directly next to the distillery. So it's probably going to be very efficient and it's going to start in the spring 2021. Yeah, and then we have more news from America. Um, the Wild Turkey 17 years Master Keep bottled in Bond is out. Yeah, it's this year's Master Keep series. And it's actually the second bottled in Bond uh, from Wild Turkey. They had one 13 years ago. Because it's um, if you want to write bottled on bond, in Bond on a whiskey bottle in America, you have very strong restriction uh, with maturing this. And I think the Federals have to get involved. So um, it's kind of a big deal that there's bottled in bond on there. But um, I don't think it will improve the quality though. It's just cool. Yeah, it will have 100 proof and will be limited to 14,400 bottles and will be available uh, around June on the international and US market. And the last thing from Canada, whiskey news. Forty Creek uh, unveils their first uh, botanical Canadian whiskey. Yeah, that is, uh, it's called uh, Forger Botanical Whiskey. Um, it's whiskey that was matured for three years in casks to be able to call it whiskey. And then there were botanicals added towards it. So it's uh, uh, some pine uh, bits and some herbs, some grasses, 
some uh, yeah foreign and uh, it's currently only sold in Ca sold in Canada. If you add something to whiskey in the end, in many countries, you're not allowed to call it whiskey then. So I'm not quite sure if this will reach the international markets and if it will be called whiskey or a whiskey like product. Yeah. So yeah, that was it with the news today. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.